In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP DeskJet 3755 printer to your Windows PC computer. I'll also show you how to print and also how to use the scanner with your Windows computer. So let's get started right away. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the printer is turned on. Once it's turned on and you see something on the screen, all you have to do now is to put the printer into pairing mode. This way the PC will be able to recognize the printer. So how do you do this? Well, it's very easy. You see there is a Wi-Fi button and there's also an X button right above. We need to press both of these at the same time until you see the light of the power button flickering or blinking. So let me do it with you. Once you see the light, by the way, you should remove your finger from the buttons. So I keep pressing then and over here, take a look. Okay, the light starts flashing. I can remove my fingers and now the printer is in pairing mode. Let's go on the PC. So on the computer, first of all, we need to go on over here where it says the Windows Store because we need to download the HP Smart App. So go over here and tap HP Smart. So it's this app over here. So this is the app you need to download over here. HP Smart that is made from HP Inc. So once you open the app, you're going to see right in the middle here where it says add printer. This is where you need to click. If you do not see add a printer, just click on this icon over there. It's the same exact thing. After about, I would say, 60 seconds, you should see your HP DeskJet 3700 series printer appearing here. I know yours is 3755, but this is exactly the same thing. So click on it, click on Setup. Then click on Continue. Then here, just tap on No Thanks. And you're going to have to type the Wi-Fi password. So this is your Wi-Fi network over here of your home or the Wi-Fi network that this computer is connected and you need to type the password right under. Then press connect. Then at the end you should get this screen with the green check mark. Click on continue. Press accept all. Uh, skip account activation because here HP will try to sell you their HP Instant Ink program and honestly I'm not sure that this is great for many people so I suggest you skip it now and you go back in the future if you're interested after you read about it. So I'll press skip account activation. Then from here, I'm going to uh, select again, skip account activation because they're very persistent in selling you their thing. Here, I suggest you uncheck here. If not, they'll just keep reminding you to subscribe to their service. I really don't like that. And you have to click no a few times, like do not enable ink delivery. And again, skip offer. That's the fourth time they're trying to sell you something. It's, it's crazy, honestly. All right, printer update. I suggest you keep it to auto update. This way, when there is one, uh, you won't have to do anything. It will be installed automatically. Press apply and uh, select skip sending link. And finally, uh, skip printing page. So now we're on the main screen of the HP Smart App and your printer is now connected. If there is a firmware update available, you're going to get this message and you just need to press OK. And the update will install itself on your printer. Now, how do you print and how do you scan? Find the file you want to print on your computer. Let's say it's this one. Make sure that there is some paper installed in your printer. And after that, once you're here, I'm going to press the print icon here or go into menu here and select print. But I'll go and click on this icon instead. And from here, what's important is that under printer, you select HP 
desk jet whoops we skipped it sorry you need to select hp desk jet 3700 series now over here i have a few of them since i had a few printers in the past but you may only have one because probably it's your first hp 3700 series printer you got and this is it now you just have to press print and the printer will print the page or the pages now how to scan to do so you need to open the hp smart app that you just downloaded and over here you're going to see scan select scan now while this is loading i'll show you how to place your paper so let's say i want to scan this document here what you need to understand is that this is the scanner before doing anything you need to insert the paper you want to scan and you need, it needs to be facing up so what you want to scan facing up align it with this small plastic uh, piece over here like this and then start pushing the paper until the uh, printer grabs it and what i mean by this let me demonstrate so i'll bring it like this i don't know if you hear but the printer tried to grab the paper and sometimes it doesn't work so you need to restart and do it again okay the printer grabbed the paper and how do you know that it grabbed it if by doing this the paper does not go anywhere it means it's good now we need to go on the screen and here there's a few things you need to look first of all we need to make sure that over here page size you have selected the right page size in my case it's a letter size so i'll keep it like this here you have to select if you want your scan to be in color or black and white and finally resolution if you're scanning some text you can leave it at 150 dpi but if you're scanning some pictures or something that you need many details select 600 dpi's and you'll get a better resolution in my case i'll leave it at 150 and i'll press scan the printer will take the paper by itself you do not need to feed it anymore it does this automatically if you're scanning at a higher dpi it may take more time and then on the screen of your computer you should have the result now from this page you can rotate the scan in case you're not happy with the orientation okay and then what you need to do is to press print if you want to print what you just scan or you can save it on your computer if you press save you'll be able to rename the file give it a brand new name and select which file type you want so do you want a basic pdf and if it's text just keep it pdf if it's an image or an artwork select a jpeg compression leave it to none and finally press save You'll have to decide where on your computer you're going to save this scan and once you're done press save and you're good to go and by the way if your document had multiple pages and you want to collect them in one single pdf after each scan do not press any of these options go and press add and then it will ask you to scan page number two press scan then same thing press add scan and then you'll have a document with multiple pages and if you want to support my channel uh, a good way to do this is to check the amazon affiliate links in the description down below if you want to get new ink for your printer or paper uh, if you buy them through these links i'll get a small commission and you're supporting this channel so thanks for watching see you in the next one